All right. And here's Kieran, who is our tech person. How about a hand for Kieran? Woo! Okay. Oh, and here's Andrew. All right, Andrew, I am going to put you in the number seven position. And I assume that you and Kieran are on different devices so that you can participate separately, right? Yes, we are on opposite sides of the house. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Andrew's number seven. Kieran, we're going to make you number eight. And since I'm co-host, I can... Ooh, I can't do that. It's probably because you're the host. Would you please give yourself a, um, a number eight, Kieran? Um, are you going to participate or are you just going to do tech? I can participate. I just have to remember not to pin people because that makes them big on the recording. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to move Andrew because um, since part of my goal here is being intergenerational and having people play with people of a different age group. So Andrew, I'm now going to make you number six. And I'm going to make Kathy number seven so that you get to play with people of a different age group, which is super fun. All right. So we now should have everyone on board. We've got eight of you, including me. And Leora and Pete, if you decide to jump in, just turn your cameras on and we'll tell you what to do. Hey, everybody. We're recording, right? Awesome. Yes, we are. Well, Welcome to, what day is today? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, day three. I had to count. Day three of the Lark Camp Online Improv class. Woo, yay. So welcome back. And everybody who's here has been here before, which is super cool because you know what's going on. I don't have to explain it to you. So we can jump right in with warming up. And we are going to play a game called Soundball. And uh, I have a magic ball. Let's see, I think we did that on day one, right? And uh, you, the ball can be big, it can be small, it can be light, it can be heavy, and you are going to throw it to another person, but we're gonna add something today since we've already done this game. I want you to add an emotion with your ball. So it can be an angry ball, or it can be a happy ball, or it can be a sad ball. So before you throw the ball, just quick, think of an emotion there's no right or wrong emotion any emotion is good and you throw the ball with that emotion and you're going to let, let's go ahead and um, let's see Natalia are you still with us well okay I'll tell you what instead of going in order you're gonna call someone's name so you call someone's name you throw the ball you make a sound the person you throw the ball to you need to catch it with that same gesture and that same emotion Quickly change that ball, call someone else's name, throw a new ball, new sound, new emotion. Thumbs up if you if you understand what we're doing. Okay. All right. I have my magic ball here, and it's going to go to Kathy iPad. Uh... Okay, Kathy, let's do that one more time. Turn your microphone on. Take two. Woohoo! So everybody turn your mic on because this game is going to go fast. Don't take a lot of time between passing the ball. Pretend it's a hot potato. You catch and, and then throw another ball right away. Call someone's name. Throw another ball with another emotion. And Kathy, because this is uh, throwing a ball with an emotion, you want to catch it with the same emotion that I threw it with. So I'm going to change my emotion because I don't want you to anticipate this time. Okay, so woohoo! Great. Okay. Wow. I can't Pooja. I didn't. I didn't understand. Uh, that went to Pooja, and she caught it. Okay, Pooja, okay. your turn. Yeah. Woo Here you go, Karen. Whoosh. Karen, that was going to you. Oh, sorry. Do it. Do it again, Pooja. One more time with an emotion. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, say uh, the person's hang on, time out. Say the person's name first so yeah. they know it's coming and they're watching and listening. Okay, with an emotion. Go for it, Karen. Call a name. Kathy S. <laughs> Andrew, but you have to unmute. Unmute, Andrew. Good. 
<laughs> okay, raise your hand if you haven't gone yet. I think Nat okay, Kitsia gets the ball. So call Kitsia's name and throw a ball with an emotion, Andrew. Kitsia. And I think Natalia's off camera, so Kitsia, you're gonna throw it back to me because that's everyone. Yeah, Yay! So that was sound ball with emotions. Okay. So the next game we're going to play is called I Am a Tree. And this is a super, super fun one. Everybody stay with your cameras on. And uh yeah, I think we'll do it that way, because if you turn the cameras on and off, it's gonna be it's gonna take too long. So you stay with the camera on. And you are also uh, going to need to have your microphone on unless you have a lot of background noise. If you have a pet or small child or fire engine or something like that making noise, then, then you can mute yourself. <clears throat> so this game, first of all, how many of you have played I Am a Tree before? Welcome back, Natalia. Who has played I Am a Tree before? Who has never played I Am a Tree? Who's daydreaming and didn't hear what I just said? Ha, trick question. Okay, so Kieran has played it before. So Kieran, I'll ask you to demonstrate with me. And um, this game, one person starts and says, we'll start with I am a tree, because that's the simplest one. And I will say, I am a tree. And I do some sort of motion that shows that I am a tree. And then Kieran, he's going to go next. And he's going to add on something that goes with a tree. So what, what might be next to or in this tree? What's something that goes with a tree? And he's going to say that thing and make that gesture. So go, I'm Karen. A squirrel building a nest. Okay, and so you stay there. And so one more person is going to add, what's one more thing that goes with a tree and a squirrel building nest? Somebody jump in. It's eating nuts. Okay, so it's going to be, I, I said Kitsia first. Kitsia, go ahead. It's eating nuts. So why don't you say, you have to be something. So why don't you say, I am the nuts that the squirrel is eating. I am the nut that the squirrel is eating. Great. So we've got three people. We've got me, I'm the tree. Kieran is the squirrel. Kitsia is the nuts. Then the first person gets to choose one of those things to take away. And it's going to be, hmm, I will take the squirrel. And so that means that I take Kieran, we go away. And then Kitsia just says, I am, I am the nuts. Now, I think we will do it with cameras on and off because otherwise it gets a little confusing. But I wanted to demonstrate it with all of you on the camera. So let's try it one more time. Everybody turn your camera off. But keep your mic on so you can come in very quickly just by turning your camera on. When you turn your camera on, we know that you're adding. Oh, Andrew, I love your, your uh, emoji face. So um, I'll start again. And I won't do I am a tree, I'll do something else. Uh, and uh, somebody else is going to add on. Well, actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll do I am a tree. But let's not have squirrel and nuts. Let's have something different that goes with tree. And then um, I'll take one thing with me. And then that third person remains and repeats that thing and says, I am the blah, blah, blah. And then another person joins them. And then another person joins them. So then there's three people. And that person who started it, like let's say in the last one, it was Kitsia who was left, I am the nuts. She gets to say, oh, I'll take the blah, blah, blah. And you turn, you turn your camera off, and the person you're taking with you turns the camera off. We're left with one person. They repeat, I am the blah, blah, blah. And so we'll just keep building this with three people at a time. Sound good? Okay. We'll give it a shot. We'll start with I am a tree again. And then somebody's going to turn their camera on and join me. I am a tree. I'm the wind in the tree. Great. One more person. I'm the falling leaf. Ooh, I will take the falling leaves. So Pooja and I turn our cameras off. And Kathy, you repeat that you are the wind in the trees. I'm the wind in the trees. Great. Someone join the wind. I am the birth that um, swings in the wind. Nice. One more person. I am the rain falling on the wind and the bird. Nice. Kathy, who are you going to take with you? I am going to take the wind. No, you are the wind, so you have oh, to take no. either the rain or the bird. Oh, that Kathy. 
You gotta oh. specify. Oh, I'm sorry, Kathy iPad. Oh, this is so confusing. Maybe I'm when sorry. yeah, she was first. I'm sorry. Kathy Kathy with a C. She's she's first, so she's the wind. Which one are you gonna take with you? I'm gonna take the rain in the trees. So she's taking the reins. So the uh, yeah, two Kathy's the Yeah, the two Kathy's turn their cameras off and Kitsia, you're left, so you say I am the bird. I am the bird that swings with the wind. Nice. Someone join her. Who's next? Turn on your camera. If you haven't gone, this is your chance. Yes, Natalia. What goes with the bird? I am an ant next to the bird on the tree. Nice. One more person. I am the beak eating the ant. Ooh. <laughs> Kitsia, who are you going to take with you, the ant or the beak? I take the beak. Okay, so Kitsia and Kieran turn their cameras off. And Natalia, say it again. I am the ant. I am the ant on the tree. Nice. Someone else join the ant. Go ahead, Kathy. I hear, I hear, it sounded like you were about to say something. If you haven't gone, this is really your chance. I don't think Andrew has gone. Maybe Andrew wants to jump in. What goes with an ant, Andrew? Oops, somebody's typing. <laughs> uh, okay, somebody else come in. I'll, I'll come in because we don't want to leave her high and dry. She's an ant. I am an ant eater. Good. One more person. Come in. Hi, Turn your camera on. I am an artist drawing the ant and the ant eater. Oh, that's good. Nice. Wow. So, Natalia, who are you going to take with you, the ant eater or the artist? I'm going to take the ant eater. Okay, so Natalia and I turn our cameras off. And Kathy, you say yours again. I am an artist drawing an ant and an ant eater. Okay, somebody join her. What goes with the artist? I am the bucket of paint. Nice, Andrew. And one more, Kitsia. I am I am the violin who plays for the artist. Nice. Mm. So, uh, Kathy S., the artist, who are you going to take with you, the bucket or the violin player? Well, I've got to take the bucket so I can keep on painting. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so you two, you two turn your cameras off. We'll just, I learned the violin. That so we'll do, we'll make this the last one. If you haven't come in, it's your it's your turn. Uh, Kitsy, I'm a violin. Okay, Kathy. I'm the pianist playing with the violin. Okay, one more person. Pete, you can jump in if you want. All you have to do is turn your camera on. Who's going? One more person. Oh, Kieran. I am, I am the angry neighbor who does not like the music. <laughs> So, Kitsia, who are you taking with you? The the angry neighbor or the what was the I other? I will one? take. I will take the the pianist with me. Okay, and that oh. leaves the angry neighbor. Okay, yeah. yay! Everybody, turn your cameras back on. That was fabulous. Yeah, that was great. Fun. Nice job. That is called "I Am a Tree." So, what do we learn from that game? What does it have to do with improvising? What does it help you do? Think. Help you think in the moment. You have to think on your feet. What else? Expand the box. Say more about that. What do you mean by expand the box? Well, um, like um, there was an ant and an anteater. An anteater, I had thought of an anteater too. So an anteater is kind of obvious for an ant. Um, expanding the box would be, um, I am someone who just stepped on the ant. Or, um, or you were the artist painting them, which was definitely out of the box. That was that very was nice. Yeah. Absolutely. It gives you a chance to be creative, step out of the box. Anything else? You're Maybe building on each other's stories. We're building, right? So do you remember when we did Story Spine the first day, the Once Upon a Time? We're building on each other's offers. So no one person is creating the story alone. We are each adding something, so it teaches us to listen and pay attention and add something. And that's what improv is all about. Cool. Okay. So let's go to the next thing. Um, I am going to go mm -hmm. to a game called Freeze Tag. So here's how Freeze Tag <laughs> works. Freeze what? 
freeze tag, like tag, you're it, or tag, you're out, basically. <clears throat> tag, T-A-G. Pete, do you want to join us? you want to turn your camera on? I think Pete maybe is just kind of hanging out and eating lunch and watching, and, and that's fine. T-A-G? How, how, what is the word? Tag, T-A-G. Uh, I'll write it in the chat. Oh, okay. This game is called freeze tag. Like because you're going to freeze in a position, and you get tagged out by another player. You'll see. It will all become clear because I'm going to teach it to you, okay? And I will try to remember to speak slowly and clearly, Kitsia. So in this game, we will have two people who start a scene. And for the first one, we'll, we'll, we'll get a suggestion. Well, actually, we won't get a suggestion because the scene will be um, inspired by your position. And once you, you start a scene with the two people, you just have a few lines back and forth. And so you move around and then I'll say freeze. And whatever position you're frozen in, it's going to suggest to you who you are, what you're doing, and you just start talking to each other as characters. We want to know who are you, where are you, what are you doing, and just, just a few lines. Remember we did those three line scene starts yesterday? It's kind of like that, but it's inspired by your position. Now, very, very, very important for this game. Everybody make sure you're paying attention. Very important. Don't stay in that position. You know, I say freeze and you freeze, but find a reason to move. Otherwise, we'll have three scenes in a row with people in the same position, and that is boring. So the character starts from that position but you don't stay there characters move and do action and talk and use your hands or maybe you're climbing a pole or whatever you're doing it's great to be doing some sort of activity especially for this game so find a reason to move and then i will say once we get an idea of who you are where you are what you're doing i'll say freeze and i think what i'll do is i'll use my bell do you hear that freeze and when I say freeze, freeze as soon as you hear that, right in that position. And then we will bring, let's see, how many people do we have here? Mm. I'm going to say we'll bring, the, we'll bring the next person on. They will pick one person to take their place. And they will take the exact position of that person, at which point that person turns their camera off. We'll be turning our cameras on and off again, like we did for I Am A Tree. And then they start a completely new scene. So even though they've taken that same position, they're not the same person and they're not doing the same thing. So maybe in the first scene I was like this and I was saying, stop, don't come in. But in the next scene, someone else is taking that position and it's like, oh, this feels so great. I haven't finger painted since I was in kindergarten. Oh, this is wonderful, <laughs> right? So. You, you just completely change it, even though it starts from the same gesture. Okay, it will become clear as we do it. So let's start with, I wanna start with some people who have done this. So Kieran has done this, and Pooja, you've done this, right? Freeze tag? A little bit? I think you've done a little bit of it. So let's have everybody turn their camera off. And except for Pooja and Kieran. Pooja and Karen, keep your cameras on. I'm going to turn my camera off. Oh, and I'm going to go to, in video settings, I'm going to click on hide non-video participants. And actually, Karen, can you do that too since you're recording? Can you hide non-video participants? I did, that. I did that at the beginning, yeah. Awesome. So it's only the people playing who are on the screen. Great. Mm -hmm. So we've just got Kieran and Pooja on the screen. You're going to start moving around randomly. Don't plan. Just move around, move around randomly. Don't plan. Use your arms, use your legs. You can step away from the computer a little bit so you have a little more space. Move around, move around, move around. Freeze! Freeze! Okay, now you're going to start a scene from that position. Somehow you need to let us know who you are, where you are, and what are you doing. And begin. Come on, hold this wall. We need to not let the zombies in. I can hear you, what? We need to not let the something? zombies in. Mom, come on, you. I need your help. You're talking to me? Mom, oh my God. I can't hold it Freeze. any longer. Freeze. Okay, so we got 
a guy with his mom trying to keep the zombies out. Let's have, who is number three? Number three, come in, turn your camera on. You two hold, don't, don't move yet. Who's number three? Natalia. Natalia, come on in. Turn your camera on. Is she still here? Did she leave us? She was doing something with her daughter. Okay, number yeah. four, I'm number four. To, uh, I'm not able to turn on the camera. Okay. It says I'm not allowed. Whoa, Kieran, is that something you can control? Why can't they there. turn on their camera? There we go. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> All right, so keep those positions. Natalia, you're going to choose one of them to take their position. Whose position are you going to take? Uh, Kieran or Pooja? And it doesn't have to be the same scenario anymore, right? No, it's going to be a brand new one. Just pick one of those. Okay, positions. I'll do that. So you're going to do the uh, what Pooja is Pooja's, doing. Uh -huh. Okay, so Pooja, you can turn your camera off. And Natalia and Kieran, you're going to start a brand new scene, new people, new place, new activity. We want to know who you are, where you are, and what are you doing, and go. Oh, it needs to be cleaned a lot. It's so dirty, this wall. This, this, this car is... It, uh, uh, someone threw up in the back. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. We will never get this cleaned. Here, let me go get the vacuum. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I hate working at this car wash. It's not. And freeze. <laughs> okay, working at the car wash. Next person, come on. Number four, turn your camera on. These are very short scenes. That's why I'm freezing them very quickly. Number four, camera on. It's Kitsia. Kitsia, choose one of them to take their position. Who, who are you going to take? The car. So, no, you're going to choose either Natalia or Kieran and copy their hands. Which one? Kieran. Which one? Kieran? Okay. So, Kieran turns his camera off. Natalia, take, freeze. Where was your position? Oh, no. Oh. You lost her? Oh, wait, me? Yeah, uh, Natalia, you stay. She, oh. chose, she chose to take Kieran. Oh, so I goes. see. I got it. Go back it. to I where your it. hands were. Okay. Now, you're going to start a new scene. You are new people, new location. You're doing something completely different. We want to know who you are, where you are, what are you doing. Either of you can speak first and begin. Open the door. Don't lock it. I need to see where you guys are. Don't lock it. Let's play. Now, just do these moments one upon the other one. Okay, so Kitsia, hang on a second. She established that there's a door between you. So you can't you can't see her. You have to go with that. You have to accept it. You can you can still do something with your fists like that, but you have to realize there's a door between you now because she made that offer. And once you make an offer, it becomes real. So no. uh, go back to your position, Kitsia. No, but and I, I, Natalia, I say your line again, open this door, and then Kitsia, you need to respond to that. Kids, open the door. I need to have the door open. Don't lock it. It's dangerous. Let me take out the candado. Nice. Okay, keep going. Mm -hmm. the, now the you can come in. Take ah, out the what? Oh, oh, oh okay. yeah. <laughs> like the, the lock or something? The lock. Uh -huh. Oh, good. You are, you are all right. I was worried you guys were in trouble or something. There was so much noise out of this room. And freeze! <laughs> Good for you, Kitsia, and establishing a new movement. Okay, you're frozen, and let's get number five. Number five, come, turn your camera on. Number five is Andrew. Wait, Andrew, come back, come back. Oh, Andrew is six. Oh, what happened to number five? Who's number five? five? Is Kathy. Kathy, where are you? Did you leave us? She might be away. No. Oh, five? yes, come on oh. in. So, Kathy, come on in and t choose one person to take their position. Choose quickly. No, tell us who you're Kitsia, choosing. Kitsia, okay, you're choosing Kitsia. Kitsia. So, Kitsia turns her camera off. Thank you for your service, Kitsia and Kathy and Natalia. New characters, new scene, new location, and go. Mommy, I want some ice cream, please. Can I have some ice cream? Please, Mommy, I want chocolate pistachio. Please. Okay, okay, but after lunch. I don't want lunch. 
You can have mashed potatoes. Praise. Praise. Okay. Oh, what a good pose. <laughs> okay, number six, Andrew. Come on. Turn your camera on, Andrew. You got some good choices here. Who are you going to choose? Natalia. Okay, so you're going to do what Natalia's doing with what she did with her hands. Okay, Natalia, turn your camera off. Kathy, you stay. And Andrew and Kathy, brand new scene, new people, new location. And begin. Look at this big carrot I just got out of my garden. It looks delicious. Oh, Ooh, how long did it take to grow? It's beautiful. Uh, about two days. <gasps> miracle. That is a miracle. Yes, it what is. You, what'd you grow it with? Uh, dirt. <laughs> Freeze. Freeze. Okay, who's number seven? Keep your hands right where they are. Number seven, other Kathy, who are you going to pick? You can take Kathy or Andrew. Uh, that's a hard choice. Um, Choose quickly. Uh, I'll take Andrew. Okay, you take Andrew's position. Andrew turns his camera off. And the two Kathys are going to do a new scene, starting from this position. New location, new characters, and begin. La, 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 la. I love your singing. Oh, that's beautiful. Teach me how to teach me how to do that, please. Takes many years of practice. Seven years to build a voice. I don't have many years left. I'm very I'm I'm kind of sick, so yeah, I don't have many years. And freeze. 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 Okay. And I think we have number eight. Who's that? Is that Kieran? We got some good choices here. Oh, Kieran, who are you going to choose? I guess I'll choose iPad Kathy. Okay, so do the finger thing, okay? And iPad Kathy turns her camera off. And brand new scene between Kathy S. and Kieran. New characters, new location and situation. Begin. Oh, gotta, what are you pointing at? You got to pluck the strings like this. This is how you play the guitar. You hold it up oh, like this and pluck the strings. I, you don't, I, I so only have one. You play it like this, but you're supposed to play it like this. I only have one string on my guitar, though. What should I do? Use one finger, then. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and then, and then you can use your mouth to move the... Move Praise! The Praise! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna come back in and do the last scene. And let's see, who should I choose? I'm going to take, I'm going to uh, choose uh, Kieran. I'm gonna take Kieran's place. Kieran, and Karen, on Kieran you're gonna turn your camera off. Kieran isn't on here. Oh, Kieran was, yes, yeah, sorry. Kieran, yeah, he was. Okay, and so now Kathy and I will do the last scene. Oh, oh, eagle. What is in the potion today? <laughs> I concocted this especially for you. <gasps> oh, excellent. Did you put in the toads and lizards? I forgot the toads. No! <laughs> How could I forget okay. the toads? And freeze. Okay, yay. Everybody come back. Woohoo! That was great. That was Fun. That was really good. Okay, so everybody come back and uh, let's see, did we lose someone? One, two, three. Who was number four? Peter. Well, Peter was just watching. We Kitsia. lost Kitsia. Maybe Kitsia. Yeah. She's here. She's here. There she is. Okay, everybody's camera's back on. Excellent. So I just want to take a moment to talk about that exercise. You all did such a great job on freeze tag. How many of you enjoyed that? Thumbs up if you enjoyed freeze tag. It's such a fun game. So what makes freeze tag work? What do we need to do to make it work really well? What do you think? Maybe adjusting with the situation um, and just create something spontaneously. Yeah, you don't want to take a lot of time to think. You come in. Don't take a long time to choose. Choose one person and be spontaneous. Great. What else helps? What works? Having Karen? a oh. random oh, yeah. positions. We say that again. Who was it, Andrew? 
Random and weird positions. Random and weird positions, absolutely, Andrew. Yeah, you don't want to just stay frozen. The more you can move around, the more interesting stuff there is to freeze. And then I think Kieran and Kathy had comments. Kieran? I was just going to stay establishing a relationship and names and then where you are and what you're doing. Absolutely. All of the above. And Kathy iPad, what were you going to add to that? Um, well, using those different voices, that was fun. <coughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. The magic, yeah. the uh, secret ingredient, I don't know. Yeah, it's so much fun in improv because we get to play all kinds of crazy characters. And so, for example, Kathy S. and I were playing sort of weird wizards, right? So you don't have to be who you really are. That's the whole fun of it. You don't have to be your actual age. If Andrew and I are doing a scene <coughs> together, I can call him grandpa. And guess what? He has to be my grandpa then and act like he's a grandpa. So um, I also want to uh, commend Natalia and Kitsia, who did great. a scene together. That and as great. far as I know, for both of you, English is not your first language. Am I right? Yep. So here we have two people that was funny doing a scene in English when it's not their first language and improv is challenging enough when you're doing it in your first language. But when you're doing it in your second or third language with somebody else who's not a native English speaker. Well done. And Kitsy, I know that English is also not your first language. So you guys are doing such a fabulous job. I am so impressed. I don't think that I could improvise in Spanish or Natalia, what is your, your first language? Russian. Russian, yeah. So, you know, Russian, Hindi, Spanish. I couldn't do that. <laughs> so super good job on that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, uh, someone mentioned how fun it was when we had different voices. Mm. Guess what? We're going to do a character development ex exercise, and we're going to do it one by one, where you each get to develop a character from scratch. You know, when we're doing improv, we have so many things going on in our head that we're trying to remember. So one of the things that, that really helps is if we have practice creating brand new characters that are very different than who we are. You know, if I don't use this voice and I use a different, different uh, body shape and different facial expressions, not just, you know, regular old Yael, then uh, I'm going to come out with something with someone completely different a delightful character that maybe I've never even explored before. And that makes it super fun for improv. So that if you practice that, then when you're doing a scene, like let's say you're doing freeze tag, you can have the ability to come out with a, a new character and explore that. So we're going to go in order. Um, we'll start with Pooja, who's number two, then Natalia, then Kitsia, then Kathy. You know, with the two Kathys, does one of you ever use Kate or Catherine or Kathleen or anything? No, you're both Kathy's. All right. We're, but, we're just, one of us is Kathy C and one of us is Kathy K. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Kathy C and Kathy K. Okay. So we're going to go one at a time, ending with Kieran. And um, I think uh, both Kieran and Pooja have done this exercise before. So I'm going to encourage both uh, Kieran and Pooja to have a new character, not the one that you did in our Zoomers to Boomers improv class. So challenging you, do not fall back on the same old character that you've done before. The whole point of this exercise is to create something new. So let's have everybody turn your cameras off except for Pooja and turn your microphones off too except for Pooja. So Pooja has her camera and mic on. Uh, Kathy, you have a question? I can be Kathy iPad, that's fine. Okay. That's <laughs> easy. <for> that. <laughs> Yeah, turn your camera easy. off now. I'm going to turn my camera off. And we have just Pooja on the screen, nice and big. And so Pooja, we're going to do an exercise. And then everybody else is going to get a chance to do this. And I'll just explain it first. Um, she's going to start by making a face and to try and make a new and unusual face that she's never made before. And then I'm going to ask her to add a sound to the face. Of what's a sound that might go with a person who has this face and then she's going to put it in motion maybe add a gesture and then i'm going to ask her to introduce herself as a character i'm going to say hi who are you and she'll just say a couple of sentences and it'll be inspired by her face and her actually i'm going to turn my camera on for one more second so if i make a face like and then i add a vo uh, sound And then I add a motion, ooh, ooh. and then I have to add a character going, 
Oh, oh, I'm so excited to be on this roller coaster. Ooh. Right? I'm Francine, and I love roller coasters. Ooh. You know, right? So you just you know, a couple sentences about who you are, and you I've never done that character before, so that just came out of that. So I'll turn my camera back off now that I've demonstrated. And Pooja, it is all yours. Do not plan ahead. Do not use a character you've used before. Make a face, Pooja. Just a face. Oh, good. Now add a, add a sound to that face. What sound does that face make? Hmm. Mm. More. Add more emotion. Very bad. Mm. No words yet. Just emotion and sound and face. Hmm. Yeah, now add gestures. That's good. Keep adding the gestures. More emotion. Okay, good. Now, so let's hear some sounds. Uh, Great. Who are I? Who are you? What's your name? I am Donna, and and things are getting me crazy. Oh, why no. are hands all around me? Oh no! I why hate are ants. Why are you so crazy? I hate ants, and they're just climbing oh. all around me. Oh, <laughs> ants! Ants are crawling you. Oh, I hate that. Here, I'll spray some ant spray for you. Okay. Oh. oh, Donna, nice to meet you. Why don't you go inside and you won't have to have the ants. Bye-bye, Donna. Nice nice to see you. Oh, Bye. wow. The, let's have number three. So Pooja turns her camera off, and let's have the next person. Number three, Natalia. Natalia, just make a face, just a face, a face you maybe haven't made before. Yeah, more, more, bigger, more face, more face. Add a sound to it, Natalia. What's the sound that face makes? Oh, you're muted. You need to unmute, Natalia. <laughs> I am all trying. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's have just a face. Just a face. Good. More sound. Okay. More. And now add some gestures to it. Let's see the hands. I don't know what you guys are all doing in here. Oh, what? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not seeing all, any of this as a happy, fun medium at all. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. What's what's your name? Remember, you know you're not my gonna, name. You know, you don't use your real name. You're you're a character, so create. A I'm name. born from the sun. You you're don't born know. from the sun. Yes. Oh my goodness! And what brings you here today? Don't lose the face. Don't lose the face and the sound and the gesture. Keep it. Well, of course, I needed to be here. I not, it's not like I wanted to be here. Oh, wow. Well, thank you for coming, even though you didn't want to be here. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Wow. Let's have number four. So remember, you're going to have to give yourself a name that's not your real name, that it fits with the character that you're creating. Okay. Who's the next person? Kitsia. All right. Kitsia, just make a face. Oh, that's a good face. And now let's add a sound to it. Oh, yeah. More, more, more. Good. Add some gestures, some hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Who are you? <laughs> oh. oh, you must be from another planet. You're visiting us. Oh, that's, that is so cool. Yeah. Do you have a name, uh, Ms. Alien? What's your name? Bleto. Bleto. Oh, nice to meet you, Bleto. All right. Well, enjoy your visit on Earth, Bleto. Oh, Bleto. Back at you. All right. Bye bye. All right. Nice. Kitsy, you can turn your camera and your mic off. And whoever is number five, turn your camera and mic on. Number five. Who's number five? Oh, it's Kathy iPad. All right, Kathy. So get a little closer to your iPad and make just a face. Just a face. Don't plan. Just a face. Maybe a face you have never made before. Experiment. Oh, yeah, it's a good face. Add a sound to that face. Make it bigger. Bigger face. Oh, yes. Great. Add a sound. 
<sighs> oh yeah, more, more sound. <sighs> yes, and more gestures now. Face sound and gestures. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh. <sighs> oh, hello. What's what's your name? Tired. Barely. Your name is tired. That's your name, or is that what you're feeling? Sweetie. Your name is Sweetie. Hi, Sweetie. Oh, what what brings you here today, Sweetie? I'm so tired. I don't remember. Oh, Sweetie, that happens to me sometimes too. <laughs> All right. Thank you for coming, Sweetie. Don't cry. It's okay. Bye, bye, Sweetie. Bye. bye. All right, Kathy. You can turn your camera and your mic off. Who's next? Who's number six? I think it's Andrew. Yeah, Andrew. Okay, you're going to start with just a face. Try a brand new face that you've never done before. Oh, yeah. Bigger. Make that face bigger. More, 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 more expression on your face. Oh, yeah. Add a, oh, Andrew, you got to unmic. You got you to gotta unmute. We need to hear you. Unmute. Okay, make that face again. Now add a sound. Huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, uh -huh. more, more, more. Uh-huh. Uh, now add some gestures. Put your hands in there. Uh, 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 Good. More. Uh, 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 okay. Now, uh, hi, hi. Who are you? What's your name? My name is Kirby. Kirby? Uh, uh, huh? Is your name Kirby? Uh, Irby. Irby. Hi, Irby. Oh, Irby. What? What? What are you doing here? What's? What are you up to? I don't know. Somebody just dragged me here. Oh no, someone dragged you. That sounds a little traumatic. So w was it somebody mean that dragged you here? No. No, somebody nice? Huh? Oh, it sounds like you're having trouble hearing me, Irby. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, what, what do you like to do for fun, Irby? Uh, I like to hear stuff. You like to hear stuff, but it looks like it's hard for you sometimes. Yeah, I know sometimes it is hard to hear, especially on Zoom. All right, Irby, it's so nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so Andrew can turn your camera and mic off. And who is next after Andrew? Oh, it's the other Kathy, Kathy S. <clears throat> All right, Kathy with a K. Um, get a little closer to the camera if you can. And let's start with just a face. Oh, that's a good face. Add a sound. Ooh, ooh, More ooh, sound. Ooh, Great. Ooh, now add ooh, a gesture. Add a gesture, ooh, Kathy. Ooh, 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 oh, hi there. Hi. What's, ooh, what's your name? Hello. There, Amalia. Amalia. Hi, Jer Amalia. Oh, no, Jeremiah. Oh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, Amaya, hi. Amaya is my sister, but I'm oh. Jeremiah. Well, that sounds a little confusing. Jeremiah and Amaya. That that's well. Your parents she's like my, that sound. She's my sister. Yes, and Jeremiah, what do you like to do for fun? I like to train birds. That's what I'm doing right now. Ooh, that sounds fun. How old are you, Jeremiah? I'm twelve. You're twelve. Yeah. That's cool. My birds are all escaping, though. Oh, no. You better go catch them. Yeah. Go catch them. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye, Jeremiah. Bye-bye. Okay, Kathy, you can turn your camera and your microphone off. All right. I'll bet that's a character you've never done before. And now we've got Kieran. <laughs> that's the fun of this game. All right, Kieran, you're going to start with just a face. Get nice and close to the camera. Just a face. Ooh, good face. Add a sound. Oh, you got to unmic. I mean, you got to uh, unmute. <laughs> oh yeah, more, more. Add some gestures. Add your body. Oh. Hello. Who, what's what's your name? I am Tony the Tiger. Okay, Kieran, I'm gonna have you be. An imaginary character, not not a real one, not a TV cartoon. So um, go back oh. to your your gesture. Well, actually, I'm going to make you do a new one because you were planning. Remember. You were planning, my friend. Time. I got your number. Okay, do just a face, just a face. 
New face. Oh yes, make a now make a noise. Add a noise. Nice. Add some gestures and hands. Hi, who who are you? What's your name? I am Mr. Black. Mr. Black, I'm so happy to meet you. What so Mr. Black, what brings you here today? Um I'm supposed to see the barber. I'm washing my face so he can uh, do my hair, but um, the dirt's not getting off. Oh, so you've been outside a while? You got real dirt. How did you get so dirty, Mr. Black? Oh, I work on trains. How cool. You work on trains. Wow. Yeah. I'm an engineer. It's, cool. it's, it's a lot of fun, but hard work and dirty. Very dirty. Yeah, okay. Mr. Black, thank you so much for visiting us. No problem. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, bye. bye. <laughs> All right, so everybody go ahead and turn your cameras back on. Great job. Oh, my goodness. And I'm going to go back in gallery view here. We are in gallery view. <clears throat> did we have? Did we lose some people? Turn your cameras on. Turn your cameras on. I have a um, question. Yes. Yes, Kathy. Do, do we look at ourselves when we're performing or not in the screen? Oh, what a good question, Kathy. Those of us who for years have been performing improv live on stage, now we're on Zoom and it has been confusing. And I'm still trying to adjust. I do have a tendency to look at myself. However, if you look at the camera, it's better. I'm going to show you guys the difference. So right now I'm looking at my little square. Can you see that? Now I'm looking at the camera. I see a green light in the middle of the top of my screen where the camera is. So if I'm talking to the camera, doesn't that look like more like I'm talking to you instead of looking at my picture? Do you see the difference? Now I'm looking at my picture. Now I'm looking right at the camera. Mm. <clears throat> so if you're doing if you're if you're doing something solo, it's helpful to look at the camera, but let's say I'm doing a scene. Let's say Pooja and I are doing a scene. <clears throat> now, I have to figure out which way she is. In my, in my screen, she's that way. So I might want to talk to her that way. And Pooja, pretend you're talking to me. Turn towards me. Which, which side am I on for you? See, now I see you facing the other way. That's a weird thing about Zoom is it might show you mm -hmm. the other way. So it doesn't always, yeah, it doesn't always work. But so, you, can, you can turn to the side when you're talking to another character or you can look at the camera. That's the best way to do it rather than watching yourself. I, I'm mm -hmm. not clear where the camera is on an iPad. I don't have, I, even taking photos, uh, maybe Karen knows because um, I don't know exactly where it is. The um, real camera is in the back on yeah, the left so it side. Should be, so if you have a home button on your iPad, it should be on the opposite side. OK. Um, there's like a bezel, and there should be a little black dot on the bezel. Oh. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what <clears throat> you're saying. On oh, the opposite side of your home button, you know the home button that you press? On the opposite side is where the camera is. So on the side of your iPad screen. Well, the okay. the cam the real physical camera is right in back of the uh, home button. Your hand's literally right over it. Um, so yeah, there's two cameras on an iPad. There's the front facing one and the back one. Okay. okay. So right. where would it, which where would it be? Right back here. No, he's saying it's on the opposite side of your iPad from, go to the opposite side of your iPad from where the home button is. So it's over there. There, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'll tell you what, Kathy, so we don't take class time for this. Yeah. Um, after class, if you go back to the main room, someone can help you with that, okay? Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Yeah, because Kieran, Kieran will be there most likely. He's helping okay. with all kinds Great. of stuff. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. so we just have a few minutes. So um, I want to uh, end with a dance thing. So Kieran, since I am a co-host, so if I go to share screen and then I go to advanced, is that right? And I go to computer yeah. audio, is that what I click on? To share music? Yeah. Yep. Computer audio, share. Okay, now I'm gonna go into my iTunes. 
and I'm going to click on a song and here's what we're going to do. Um, Kieran, I'm going to ask for your help on this. Um, we're going to do a spotlight dance with this group. So Kieran, oh, wait, wait a minute. Is that going to, no, I guess it'll work. Spotlight. Okay. So spotlights don't work in breakout rooms. I can pin people oh, for me you're... and the recording. Oh, you're right. You can pin or you know what? I'll tell you what. Instead, we'll do it in gallery view. We'll do a give and take dance. That's a different exercise and it's super fun. So I'm going to put on a piece of music. And um, as soon as the music starts, we need to have only one person moving at a time. So you, if you start moving, nobody else can move, um, and, but, but they can overtake the lead. They can take the lead from you. If they start moving, you have to stop. Or if you stop, someone else has to start. Let's see if we can do this with just one person at a time. It takes paying attention and watching each other. So let's try this. Give and take. Can we dance. back up so you see the whole body or just close? Oh, so hang on, let me turn the, you can back up. Yeah, if you back up, it's better because- You guys hear the music? Yeah, very okay. well. Okay. Oh, Kathy's moving. For that, so to end that this, um, that yeah, so that, was a give, that was a give and take dance. So to end this, um, we're each going to share one word, one word, something that you got out of today. So Pooja, you go first. Be spontaneous. Uh, be spontaneous, Natalia. One word, uh... two words. Yeah, this spontaneous is great. Like I have to learn how to do that and not to get all. Uh... Wait, that's more. That's too many words. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, Kathy. Not, be Kathy not shy. Is what it is. Not shy. Words. Not shy. There you go. Not shy. Kathy, iPad. One or two words. Have fun and laugh. Yay, Andrew. One or two words. Un unmute yourself. Uh, fun. Fun. Yay. Kathy S. Unmute yourself. Fun together. Fun together. And Kieran. Don't plan. What? Don't plan. Don't plan. Yay. And my two words are thank you. All right. Let's do our final cheer. Let's do who's got who's got a good. Uh, oh, we'll do we'll do the jazz hands. I like the Andrew. And then we'll take a screenshot. Maybe Karen can do that. Ready? What, and we're going to say yes. And one, two, three. Yes. yes. And <laughs> screenshot. And those who are here for the next class, you can join us. It's all good. Woo. Okay. Yay. Yay. Thank you, everybody. Wade, it is all yours for the next class. You guys come back tomorrow, same time, 2 p.m. And you all did fabulous today. You're all awesome. See you tomorrow.